fantastic win, congratulations. Now you obviously had a late opponent change, you were meant to originally place Rani Sahari for the flyweight title. Are you going to stay fight fit in case that fight comes up quickly? Um, I'm going to take a break after this fight to improve. Um, promise myself. The only reason I took the last fight so quick on succession um, was because it was for the world title. So that was too good an opportunity to turn it down. Now I want to spend the summer, I want to hopefully go abroad again, try and improve my skill set, then bring it back here and do another camp, get one more fight in before the years out. I'm always after long term development, I'm not worried about rushing. Um, I just want to prove I'm the best and keep working my way up so I can, when I get there, my skill set's where it needs to be. And did the uh, late opponent change, did it affect your fight camp at all or did you just go on the same? Um, it didn't affect my fight camp. There were, there were, it's kind of similar opponents but not, but they were both sort of K-1-ish strikers, um, both scrambly grappling games, so it was kind of a similar game plan so it wasn't too much to deal with. Did the fact that it was a non-title fight uh, sour the victory to any extent? Um, not particularly, no, I'm not the biggest believer. Belts are nice and I'd have loved to win it in my hometown here. Um, you'd be the man in the town, but my ultimate goal is to be the best in the world. And if I want to do that, bounce along the way, we'll come and go. It's all about development for me. Well, Bama are back here, Bama 21. Are you looking to get on that card maybe for the title no, I'm again? I'm not on that card. I've heard the June, I've decided before that with people close to me that I'm not doing the June card and I'm going to go away in the summer. You've always took long breaks before this, between your fights, mainly because you were finishing your studies. How was it having a shorter break? Um, it was good in some respects because I've managed to maintain my fitness, but I'm a big believer I'm nowhere near the fighter that I want to be, and I'm aware that one or two more wins could put you in the big leagues, and I want to be ready when I get there. I don't want to be one of them that rushes there and then ends up getting spit up and chewed back out, and you're back to square one. I want to make sure when I do get there, I'm ready to take on the top and the best guys in the world. We've seen a bit of your striking in there today. Obviously, you, might, you took him down, you finished him on the ground. You've got a sponsor now, Macklin's Gym Marbella. You've been sparring boxers from there. Michael Rooney, who's fighting on the matchroom card here May 9th. How has that helped you for this fight? Um, I just feel like the level and intensity that boxing sparring brings, especially pro level, we've, we've got some access to the best coaches, arguably, at least in Europe, arguably in the world, and I don't think we have that for certain areas of MMA, so I'm going to take advantage of what I've got on my doorstep and people that I know absolutely. You mentioned there that you, you, you like more of a break and you obviously took this fight because it was for the title. When that title fight was over, did, did you ever consider pulling out at all? Or was you ready to go? You, no, you'd I've done the camp. I, I've sold like tickets. I've put in hard week, eight weeks of camp. I've thought it down. I'd fight anyone, any flight in the country today. I can go for Europe. And whoever come up, come up. Take us through the fight and uh, how you got to the submission win. Um, first, I, I didn't really perform how I liked in some regards to the sound of my distance was a little bit off. That may be from doing a bit too much boxing work where you're a lot closer being closer range. Um, maybe the K1 distance and MMA distance is even further. It's almost like karate distance and MMA fighting. So I found that a little bit hard to adjust at the start. Once I got my got clinch on him I found I was a lot, lot stronger than him. Um, and second round I knew if I could take him down I'd get the finish with some ground up hand or back tags. I know I've got heavy hands. I knew I'd set the finish or he'd quit and give me the choke. It looked like there was one or two moments when you maybe got tagged and you looked quite keen to engage in a brawl and chase him down. Is that something you thought you, you were going get, to get drawn into or do you like getting drawn into a brawl here and there? Um, I do kind of like getting drawn into a brawl. I'm always afraid of being that timid guy that he's going to kind of, there's nothing worse than seeing a grappler who doesn't engage. And I'm sharpening my striking tools so they'll be able to stand with anyone. And I'm game and I believe in my chin so... Um, I'm happy to engage, but I'm more for it to set something up, not just mindless aggression. Not Diego Sanchez in it. It does with a purpose why I'm doing it. Is, yeah. the, is the Rani fight next for you, or are you going to take whoever they offer you? I'll take whoever they offer me. I mean, it depends how long he's on the shelf for, and I'm on the shelf for. I'm looking at going away for three months in the summer, so I probably won't be fighting until late, 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 late part of the year. So it just depends whether he wants to get one in before and I'll go and fight the winner of them two or I'll fight anyone, I'm not too bothered. So when you come back, you're going to look at going straight back into fight camp then and preparing? Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll go away for a bit, try and develop my skills, come back. I like to do camps in England, I just feel like with my family and my friends around me, I can really excel in fight camp. But, so go away, come back, fight camp at home and get another fight in before the end of the year. You, uh, you took his back early in the first round. You was dry at that point. What? How come you didn't finish your submission there? What was it that was stopping you there? Um, just not wanting to over squeeze myself. If it's in, it's in. If you've got a real muscle, it sometimes it's good to do. But I'd have had to muscle that to try and get a finish there. And if that gets dragged down to rounds two and three, 
you could come unstuck, so I can serve manager a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.